Statement of fact number 21, Ms. Garcia began patient E on topical chelation cream without examining or seeing patient E. The interaction between Ms. Garcia and patient E's mother occurred solely over the telephone and patient E's mother was shipped the topical chelation cream with instructions on how to apply it to her daughter. When patient E did not improve, patient E's mother made an appointment to see Dr. Buttar. Patient E traveled to North Carolina with her mother but never saw Dr. Buttar. Instead, patient E was only seen by Ms. Garcia in person for the first time months after patient E was started on the topical chelation cream. Patient E mother discontinued use of topical chelation cream on her daughter and at no time during her interaction with Dr. Buttar's office did patient E ever see Dr. Buttar. The patient didn't come to the clinic because she came to see me because it didn't work. That's absolutely a bunch of horse manure. It's stated in the chart, the patient came because she was required, as all our patients are that are being treated long distance, that they must be seen in the clinic at once every six months. She came to the clinic to be seen on a routine basis. And Jane Garcia saw her. I wasn't in, uh, I wasn't in uh, Charlotte at the time. I was actually giving a lecture at the time. And patient E was seen by an appropriate medical provider and everything was done appropriately. The reason patient E had gotten upset was because she was taken, uh, the daughter, the child was taken off an antidepressant medication and according to the patient, according to the mother of the patient, the child started having some symptoms and we have five documented notes in the chart of how many times the parent was called back and told that if you don't think that pulling the child off the medica medication was something that you want because we told her you're going to see some worse thing initially then just put her back on the medication. There was at no point, and, and the chart reflects this, nobody said, the, the, the parents never said that the child did not improve. In fact, if the child didn't improve, then why would they tell us, why would they tell us in an email, the final email, thank you for everything you've done for us, and we're going to continue the same treatment protocol that's being followed by this doctor that I established. Why would it be if, if the patient did not improve? The, the, the whole issue is that Jane Garcia, my nurse practitioner, told the parents that the child was being manipulative when they were slamming the door and this is something we tell all our patients that these children are extremely, extremely intelligent and therefore they will manipulate the, manipulate the system so the parents have to be very well aware that the fact that this, these child, excuse me, very well aware that these children will try to take advantage and if you want the child to be neurotypic then treat the child neurotypically. You have to put the child in the corner, give them time out, whatever you normally do with the rest of your children. This child was slamming doors and the parents were letting the child run around doing everything. And Jane pointed that out to them and the parents were insulted that, that Jane would tell them that they needed to have more discipline with the child. She was absolutely right because every one of these children do need more, they, they need more stimulation, they need more interaction, they need to have, have a more opportunity to, to learn how to express themselves and they're going to try to manipulate the system so they need more discipline. That's why this parent got pissed off. That's why this parent went to the medical board and made a complaint that was completely contradictory to the, all the things that were said in the chart and that we have even their own email to prove it and we will provide that email in the charts below that when you review them. Of course the medical board hasn't brought official charges but they're still putting this down in the, uh, in the proposed uh, recommended decisions.